What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American here today to react and learn about the 12 best things to do and see in Nova Scotia. I've been kind of making my way through the Canadian provinces one by one, taking like a deeper dive to check out the uni unique and cool things to visit and to see and to do. Today I'm on Nova Scotia. You know, when I reacted to a video a while back ranking the Canadian provinces <laughs> from best to worst, very controversial video, ranking the provinces, it, we got to Nova Scotia, I think it was like number five or something, and uh, I, I recognized the name Nova Scotia, and I was saying, Americans know the name Nova Scotia for some reason, yet they don't know the names of many of the other Canadian provinces, and as someone pointed out in the comments correctly, it's because it's in that song, You're So Vain, by Carly Simon. That's what it was, if you go to the lyrics. Um, Nova Scotia, right? Then you flew your Learjet up to Nova Scotia. Anyway, that was bugging me for the longest time, and finally I was like, yes, that's it! It's in the Carly Simon song. So, Nova Scotia is famous in America, but Americans have no idea what's going on there, or what it looks like, or the cool things to do. But at least for me, I'm going to correct that for myself by enjoying this video on the 12 best things to do and see in Nova Scotia. Hold on, before I do that, I have to pull it up on the map, um, because I am completely inept when it comes to Canadian geography. I have no idea. Okay, it is one of the islands on the eastern side of Canada. Right by Prince Edward Island. I gotta remember that. That's a good way to remember it. In New Brunswick. Okay, Nova Scotia. Look at that. It's like its own little, little island. Own little place. All the Nova Scotians running around on here. Doing who knows what. I'm <laughs> ready to find out. Alright, cool. Nova Scotia. 12 best things. Nova Scotia holds a special place in my heart as it was my first time on the east coast of Canada and it was the first trip that Matt and I took together back in 2016. So we spent a week Oh, axe throwing. That's fun. I don't know if that has anything to- axe throwing is just like in America too. Maybe Nova Scotia invented axe throwing. Anyway. Driving around the province and during that time really came to love Nova Scotia as a hidden gem of Canada. So mm -hmm. in partnership with Tours of Nova Scotia, I've put together a short list of my favorite things to do in this amazing province. Now, when she says a hidden gem of Canada, C Canadians surely are aware of Nova Scotia and like cool stuff about it. So is it a hidden hidden gem to the rest of the world? Like me? I, that's probably what she means, right? Like the hi hidden gem of Canada, Nova Scotia. So it's like, well, it's kind of like what I was saying. I've heard of it. Lots of Americans have heard of it, but we don't know what's going on. Hidden gem, because it's cool. Okay. <laughs> this would be especially good if you are a Canadian looking for some local travel inspiration this year. But okay. before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my next videos. Take a harbor hopper tour in Halifax. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at this thing. I like how it's a little dirty, too. I actually like that. <laughs> it makes it more, like, real. This is a perfect place to start during a trip to Halifax. Riding on a huge amphibious... Halifax. Is that the capital? Is that the capital city? Halifax? City in Nova Scotia? <sighs> Provincial... Provincial capital of Nova Scotia. Okay, good, good. I kind of know what's going on. Halifax. Um, where are we? Oh no, we're here. <laughs> Whoopsie. This is a perfect place to start during a trip to Halifax. Riding on a huge amphibious vehicle so you can tour both the streets and the water. This is a great way to quickly familiarize yourself with the city. See it. What? I thought it was just supposed to look funny, like be part of the culture of Nova Scotia. Oh, it's a, it's a big uh, bus that looks like a boat. It can go in the water, people. The technology is here. It drives around Halifax and then just amphibiously 
transfers seamlessly into the water. And Nova Scotia, a lot of water. It's an island. My goodness. This is, prob this is probably very obvious to Canadians, but this is these are some real epiphanies to a simple American like myself. Get from many different angles and learn about its history from your excellent tour guide. It's also just a unique opportunity <gasps> to ride in these super cool vehicles. Oh my gosh. I had no idea. I've never seen something like this. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm aware something like this exists at some point, like, but I've certainly never seen it in real life. Visit the Maritime Museum of the Atlantic. Learn about Nova Scotia's deep history with the Atlantic Ocean through many different exhibits. Mm. Halifax was the closest major port to where the Titanic sank, so here you can learn about how Canadians helped in the recovery effort and see genuine pieces of the wreckage up close. Whoa. What? Wait, is that the... <laughs> I don't want to say it. Is that the little piece of wood that Rose... Uh, was floating on and didn't let Jack get on to survive because she <laughs> wanted to be cozy on the piece of wood. Anyway, uh, part of the... I, I can't believe Nova Scotia and Halifax has such significant ties to the Titanic. I had no idea. Interesting. You can also learn about the Halifax explosion, which at the time it happened, was the largest human-made explosion of all time. Check out the Hal- What? I can't just let that slide. Halifax explosion, 1917? The French cargo ship SS Montblanc collided with the Norwegian vessel SS Emo in the waters of Halifax. Two, uh... Ships collided, creating an explosion? Was it because of what they were carrying? Wow, look at this picture. Open this in a new tab. Someone snapped a photo of it even on their 1900 cell phone. No. <laughs> uh, hmm. Nearly all structures within a half mile, 800 meter radius were obliterated? What were these ships carrying? Dynamite? Or maybe just, you know, when giant cargo ships hit each other, you know, they just do that. What do I know? The, da the impact damage, benzoyl barrels stored on deck, leaking vapors, which were ignited by sparks from the collision, and the fire grew out of control. 20 minutes later, the Mont Blanc exploded. Okay, so there was chemicals on board which increased it. It's actually a delayed reaction. Halifax explosion. Okay, very sad. All right. It was the largest human-made explosion of all time. Wow. Check out the Halifax Seaport Farmer's Market. At over 270 years old, this is the oldest continuously operating farmer's market in North America. Oh, wow, fun. Oh, look at those bowls. Oh, I would love this. Oh, it's not just food, too. They got, like, crafts and stuff. And all the farmer's market food you can imagine. The market is massive. With a wide variety of different vendors, there's something here for everybody. There oh, this actually looks genuinely great. There's fresh food, baked goods, craft spirits, jewelry, and other artisanal goods. Oh, I love artisanal goods. <laughs> that's such a good way to say it. <laughs> what is that? Maybe that's beeswax candles? I loved exploring all the booths, seeing the different vendors, and you could easily spend several hours here. Yeah, seriously. You could spend- uh, I could spend way too much time in this market. I like this. Ocean kayak on the east coast. We had an amazing time kayaking around the coast, weaving through the small islands, and even taking a break on one of those islands all to ourselves. Oh, there's small islands. Right, 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 right. Okay. Uh, where's the map? Nova Scotia. Here we are in Nova Scotia. Where, oh, look at this. When you zoom in, you got to do the work to actually know this. You got to zoom in a little. I got to get with it. If you zoom in, look, Taylor's head. Sober Island. Sober Island. <laughs> uh, all sorts of little islands everywhere, all along the coast. Oh, that's fantastic. And you can get a canoe and enjoy them. Wow, this is a good video. If you're lucky, you might even spot an eagle up above or some seals swimming by. 
Oh, just wow. don't fall in because uh, the water is probably pretty cold. Mm. The Canadian Museum of Immigration at Pier 21. Nova okay. Scotia has played a significant role in Canada's history as being a major port of entry for immigration. Yeah. Pier 21 is now a national... Yeah, yeah, it is. It seems to be the most... Is it the most eastern part of Canada? Or No, no, we got Newfoundland and parts of Newfoundland, Labrador. But it is obviously, like, located, like, if people are coming from the Atlantic o Ocean towards Canada, they're going to run right into Nova Scotia. National Historic Site, as it was the gateway for over 1 million immigrants arriving into Canada from 1928 to 1971. Wow. The museum is really well done, and it's very interesting to learn about the different experiences these early travelers had on their journeys and arrival into Canada. Yeah, that that's extremely interesting stuff. Walk the picturesque town of Lunenburg. Old Town Lunenburg. Lunenburg. Maybe I can look up where that is. Lunen. Oh, Lunen. No, not Lunen, Germany, but Lunenburg, Nova Scotia. Yes, exactly, Google. Thank you. Um, let me zoom out. It is on the southern coast of Nova Scotia. Right here. Right by the water. All right, cool. Lunenburg is one of only two urban communities in North America that are a UNESCO heritage site. Okay. Many colonial buildings from the 18th and 19th I, I honestly don't know what that means. UNESCO Heritage? UNESCO. I need to look up UNESCO. Um, Scientific Cultural Organization of the Uni United Nations. Okay. Obviously has to do with Canadian culture and heritage. 19th century are still standing. Oh, it's got all the old... Uh, like protected buildings as well. Many colonial buildings from the 18th and 19th century are still standing. My favorite thing was just walking the streets and seeing all the colorful buildings and learning about- Yeah, yeah. why'd they have such good like eccentric taste back in the day? The history. It's such a pretty town full of East Coast charm. Wow. Stop by the famous lighthouse at Peggy's Cove. This small fishing community, along with its famous lighthouse, perched on the rocks of the Atlantic, is one of the most photographed locations in Canada. Huh. The lighthouse is over a hundred years old and still functions to this day. Yeah, it is like the most lighthouse looking lighthouse I've ever seen from like a storybook or something. Looks like it gets quite a big a bit of tourism too. ...to this day. It's only about an hour's drive from Halifax, so there's no reason not to go. Okay. Explore the wilderness of Kejimakuji National Park. Keji is the perfect place for the outdoor lover. Camp, oh. hike, bike, or paddle through the beautiful surroundings of nature. Wow, Nova Scotia has a lot of great nature, but it also has like a, some great little cities and towns as well. It would also be a great place for bird watching or astrophotography as it is a dark sky preserve. Unfortunately, we only had a short period of time to explore just a small portion of this around 400 square kilometer national park. Why? Wow. Oh my gosh, you could spend so much time on Nova Scotia. Truly a hidden gem, <laughs> as she was alluding to. But there's always time to go back. Try the local drinks. You might not know this, but Nova Scotia produces some great local wines. But that's not all they have. The province also produces lots. Hey, she's drinking it out of a little ketchup packet, ketchup cup that you get at Burger King. Yeah, look at that. You're not you're not in Nova Scotia unless you're drinking wine out of a little ketchup uh, cup. <laughs> that's not all they have. The province also produces lots of amazing beer, cider, and spirits. Cool. We did our best to try and sample as much of these. Oh, she's at some kind of like official wine tasting. What is that expression on her face? What did she just drink? What is <laughs> Local drinks as we can during our short time in the province. And we can definitely say we enjoyed them all. Stay and okay. surf at White Point. White Point Beach Resort was one of our favorite places that we stayed in Nova Scotia. How is this created? White point. I, I guess this this almost looks man-made because I know they can drag sand out and create islands. 
but I'm guessing it's not man-made. That's like other islands they've done around the world. White Point. White Point? Uh, Nova Scotia? Yeah, there we go. Where is this? What are we talking about? Oh, look! You can literally tell it's the picture because it's shaped exactly the same as uh, that. Is that. Wow. Okay, cool. Man. Okay, it's a little more south in Nova Scotia. Cool. Very cool. At White Point. White Point Beach Resort was one of our favorite places that we stayed in Nova Scotia. It's such a pretty location being right on the Atlantic shore, and it's also one of the few locations in Canada that you can surf. Now, there weren't really- Oh, you can surf? Are there waves? What? There weren't really any big waves on the day that I was out in the water, but they do get proper waves, and it's one of the more popular surfing spots in the region. That's cool. That's cool. Actually, I would never have thought that was even possible. Now, these next two are kind of bonuses, as we didn't manage to visit these two places the first time we went to Nova Scotia, but they're definitely on our bucket list for when we return. Okay. Drive or hike the Cabot Trail. I really wish that we had time to do the Cabot Look at this shot. Hold on. I gotta go back. Return. Drive. Look at that. You could get lost in the Cabot Trail. Drive or hike the Cabot Trail. I really wish that we had time to do the Cabot Trail when we were in Nova Scotia, but it's enough of a reason to go back. The trail is 298 kilometers of roadway that encircles the island of Cape Breton. Wow. Considered by many to be one of the most... Oh, wow. One of the most scenic... Scenic drives in the world. Yeah. Look at that, the way the road Island is like... Of Cape Breton. Considered by... The way the road is built into these mountains. Amazing. Um, Cabot Trail. She said this was like on an island, but is it not on the mainland of Nova Scotia? Cabot Trail? Nova Scotia? Where are we talking here? I've never searched so much on a province. Oh, right. It's like this part of Nova Scotia to the northeast. So this is technically, yeah, there's a, there's a space here. So this is a separate island of Nova Scotia. I didn't even really think about that. Like, I thought this was all just one with lots of tiny islands around the perimeter. Wow. Okay, I'm glad I looked, at, looked that one up many to be one of the most scenic drives in the world, you'll want to spend a better part of a week exploring the Cabot Trail. Oh There's God. so many things to do. <laughs> a week? Oh my goodness. Do, including many hikes in the Cape Breton Highlands National Park. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is amazing. This, like, this is not what Americans picture when they picture Canada. Like, th these amazing parts of like Nova Scotia and other provinces have unique characteristics of themselves but like this right here perfect example they, they would Americans would be like where is this this is amazing park with trails ranging from easy strolls to challenging climbs I'd also love to go during the fall season just to see all the amazing colors the Bay of Fundy, home to the highest tides on Earth. What? In about six hours, the ocean can rise or- <laughs> What? D Hold on. Show me that house again. The highest tides on Earth. In about six hours- What? Is this like- Oh, it's a cafe. Built on 80-foot stilts. <laughs> I mean, actually kind of cool. Hours, the ocean can rise or fall by up to 50 feet creating dramatic changes in the Ooh. landscape. It also- What? Look at this. By up to 50 feet, creating dramatic changes in the landscape. It also happens to be a treasure trove for marine life and ancient fossils. My goodness, so this is like the magical, mythical island of Canada. What is going on here? You can walk around the ocean floor, watch for whales, dig for dinosaur bones, or- Dig for dinosaur bones, watch whales, okay. For maximum adrenaline, hop on a guided boat tour and ride the powerful waves of the tidal bore. So okay. thank you so much for watching and I hope this has inspired you to start planning your own Nova Scotia trip. I'm gonna leave a bunch of resources and links in the description so you can find out more. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, 
12 best things to see and do in Nova Scotia. I'm convinced. Pretty darn good. This was by Hey Nadine, and I liked it. I give that a big thumbs up. Very enjoyable. These were genuinely, like, great picks of, like, cool stuff to do. Like, that was actually really, really well thought out video. Um, any comments? Any, any nice comments here? Awesome list. I did not know the farmer's market in Halifax was the oldest in North America. True. The Cabot Trail. Always wanted to do the Cabot Trail. Yeah, seems amazing. Some of the most impressive scenery I've seen in Canada. Um, or at least some of the most unique. Uh, Peggy's Cove. Oh, the lighthouse. Yeah, that lighthouse. Um, Maritime Museum was cool. Yep, agreed. Yeah, this was cool. I was not expecting this little video on Nova Scotia to be so, so good. This was like, this was like making Nova Scotia look really good. This was a great advertisement for Nova Scotia. Now, uh, I have something in my mind when I think of Nova Scotia. And it, it's quite positive, quite a positive impression. Very cool, very cool. Anyway, if you thought this was somewhat cool as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this with uh, me reacting to Canada, Canadian culture, stuff in Canada that I've never seen, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.